I'm Amira David and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A facility in Albion, Michigan will soon be a safe haven for more than 200 migrant children who have crossed the southern border without parents or guardians. The Star Commonwealth campus has been contracted by the federal government to be a temporary shelter. The nonprofit helps children heal from trauma. We are told those headed to Michigan are 12 and younger. The Biden administration says it is working to reunite them with their families. We turn now to the growing number of coronavirus cases in Michigan. Today, the state announced 6,800 new COVID-19 infections and 74 additional deaths. Now, 57 of those were identified in a vital records review. Today's cases are down slightly from yesterday's numbers, but Governor Whitmer is urging a two-week pause of in-person learning, youth sports, and indoor dining. Michigan State Police are looking into a late night shootout on I-75. Troopers were called to northbound I-75 and Mack Avenue just before 11 p.m. following reports of two vehicles shooting at each other. A couple hours later, a woman checked herself into the hospital saying someone shot her while driving down the freeway. No word on the woman's condition tonight. Troopers say the investigation is ongoing. And a quick check on the forecast. We have some rain moving in. We got meteorologist Mike Taylor tracking what to expect. Yep, that's right, Amira. We have showers and some thunderstorms moving through. Temps are going to be in the 60s, but if you're going to head out, you're going to need the umbrella for sure. And once again, even for tonight, we'll still have rain lingering around. And check out the temps. They actually dropped down 52 for an overnight low and even some 40s west of the city.